Hi, my name is Alvar Dura and this is a channel for Ton Junkies. Today we're gonna talk about the kill switch. First, I want to apologize for using my Les Paul guitar on my previous video. I know that it's not the right one for that, but the purpose was to show you all the details around that song. The link of my previous video is below in the description and I want to mention that if you have any questions or doubts you can leave me a comment on the section below. Um, I know some of my videos are very technical and um, I speak Spanish, Portuguese and English so in case you have any doubt or anything just let me know I will try to help you out. A kill switch is a switch that allows us to mute the sound on one position and turn it back on on the next one. The purpose of this feature is just to create weird sounds. This trick has been used for many guitar players like Tom Morello, Buckethead and others. We need to understand how a switch works and what happens inside your guitar. There are several types of switches that come stuck on the guitars and they are used to select different pickups or combine them. First, we have the three-way switch, which is found on most guitars with two pickups. And we can find it as a toggle switch or a plate switch depending on the case. They both do the same. If we look at this picture, they have three pins. Two are inputs because they receive the signal from the pickups and the other one in the middle is the main output. As we can see in this picture, the signal goes from the pickups to the switch and depending on the position, we get different sounds. If we toggle up, we get the neck pickup. If we toggle center, we get the neck plus the bridge pickups in parallel and if we toggle down, we get the bridge pickup. Second, we have the five position pickup selector, which are found in guitars with three pickups, like Strats and others. The design and the connection of this switch allows us to get on position one, the neck pickup, on position two, the neck plus the middle pickups. On position 3, the middle pickup. On position 4, the middle and bridge pickups. And on position 5, the bridge pickup. This is the traditional result, but depending on the design of the switch or the wiring of your pickups, the result can be different. So if you have any questions, just leave me a comment below. For this type of switches, there are a lot of different designs and different configurations. Some of them have more terminals than others, but the only thing you need to know is that the pickups are connected to the switch and there's one wire that is the output, which connects the switch to the volume pot. Now, I'm gonna talk about the possible scenarios you can face. The easiest one is when you have a guitar with two pickups and two volume pots, like Les Paul's, SG's or any guitar as long as it has two volume pots, like Tom Morello's guitar. We talked about this situation already on my previous video, I have posted the link below on the description. Since the volume pots are before the switch, you turn the volume completely down on the neck pickup and leave on the bridge pickup. So when you toggle from center to down position, you will get the kill switch effect. In this case, you don't need any mods. You just use your pickup selector switch as a kill switch. If you're using a Les Paul or an SG, there's one thing I want to point out. There are two different types of wirings on those guitars, the 50s and the 60s. On the 50s, when you turn your neck pickup volume down, you will get off 
on, on. You need to toggle from up position to center position to get the kill switch. On the 60s wiring, when you turn your neck pickup volume down, you will get off, off, on. You need to toggle from center to down position to get the same result. It doesn't matter which one, you will be able to do it. But what happens if your guitar doesn't have two volume pots but a single master volume pod. Then you will need to mod your guitar, but don't worry. First, we need to understand that guitars with a master volume are wired this way. The pickups are connected to the switch and the switch is connected to the master volume pod. First option, mod your guitar to be able to use your stock pickup selector as a kill switch. In this case, we need to identify the wire coming from the pickup we want to shut down. We need to take the signal and be able to send it to ground before it gets to the pickup selector switch. For example, in a two pickup guitar, that would be the neck pickup. We need to add a switch between the pickup and the pickup selector. The purpose of this switch is to intercept the signal coming from the pickup and be able to connect it to ground to mute the sound. There are many types of switches you can use. I have posted below a link of the codes that you normally get on switches. No matter which one you use, the connection needs to follow just one rule. On one position, the signal goes straight from the pickup to the pickup selector switch and you get sound. On the other position, the connection between the pickup and the pickup selector switch is connected to ground. This way, you don't get any sound. The most common switches to serve this purpose are SPST. When it's open, you get normal sound. When it's making contact, the signal is touching ground, so it's muted. SPDT. This is more like the toggle switch we mentioned before, but it has just two positions instead of three. The center pin is always connected, so now you need to connect it this way to get the same result. DPDT, which is basically the same switch but double. You just use one of the sets of three pins with the same connections. If I go for this mod, I would use a push-pull pod because you don't need to drill any holes or anything on your guitar you just need to replace a volume or tone pot. The push-pull is a combination of a normal pot with a DPDT switch. If you decide to go for this on your guitar let me know in the comments because there are a few things you need to know before you order the part you need. Once you added the switch, if you have a guitar with two pickups, set the switch you added on the position where the neck pickup is connected to ground. Then you go to the toggle switch or pickup selector and you will get no sound on the neck and middle position, but you will get sound on the bridge position. This allows you to use the pickup selector as a kill switch between the center and bridge position. If you have a three pickup guitar, set the switch you added on the position where the middle pickup is connected to ground. Then you go to the pickup selector and you won't get sound on positions two, three and four, but you get sound on position one and five. This allows you to use the pickup selector as a kill switch between positions 5 and 4. Second option, mod your guitar adding a master kill switch. 
The principle is the same. The only difference would be the location in the circuit. If we connect the kill switch after the pickup selector switch and the volume pot, we will be muting the sound of the guitar independently of the pickup that has been selected. That was what I did to my old guitar back in the 90s. In my case, I installed a Les Paul type three-way toggle switch. Another option you have is to add a momentary button switch like bucket head. The purpose of this video is encourage you to go deep in your guitar, experiment with it, mod it, and have a lot of fun. If you think this video was helpful, please hit like and feel free to ask me any questions or leave a comment below. I am Albert Dura, the Tone Junkie. If you are one of those eager for knowledge about guitar playing, consider to subscribe to this channel because we're gonna cover everything. Guitars, electronics, modifications, how to set up your guitar, pedals, amplifiers, speakers, and so on. So stay tuned, hit like, subscribe, share with your friends, and rock and roll!